guys, guess who's back? It's me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm back here at Quams and Dolly's HQ after a lot of rest and I am so much better. My back is recovering. I still need to take it easy, so I'm still not in the bakery. I'm doing all the sitting down work, but the gang, Sally included, have been doing an amazing job of keeping you guys recipied up <laughs> and keeping me in in you know up to my eyeballs in cookies. But the best cookie that was I've ever had was the New York style cookies that these guys yes. made. So delicious. And if you haven't made that yet, please check it out. But not yet because I am <laughs> setting you a challenge. Okay. I love Ooh. that cookie. It was amazing. It was but amazing. I think it could go like 10 million times more intense. Okay. I Ooh. want a really chocolatey double chocolate chocolate cookie. The ultimate <laughs> chocolate cookie. Okay. Basically. Sure. So like think the other cookie, the New York style cookie, <laughs> but like chocolatify <laughs> it more. Got it. Okay. And I well. want it warm. Oh. Not straight from the oven because I don't want <laughs> to burn my mouth, but I I want it as it as you guys have been having while I've been Gosh, away. She's so demanding, but I'm a boss, like come on, she guys. is a boss, <laughs> and it is Christmas, and I've got my apron and my Crocs, my sexy she's ready. Crocs on. So let's head into the bakery, and we will come up with the hopefully the most chocolatiest, yummiest cookie for Cupcake Gemma because she deserves it, and she's eating for two. Remember. <laughs> Off you go. <laughs> Okay, Cupcake Gemma, challenge accepted. I'm gonna make you the most chocolatey version of that New York cookie that Dane and I came up with a few weeks ago. Unfortunately, Dane, he's a busy guy. He's over in Soho running our bakery there. So it's just me today, but I've been chatting with him and the other guys here, Nikki, Rosie, and we think we've come up with the perfect recipe. It's a little take on the one we did before, but it's not just as simple as chucking in cocoa and chocolate, and I'll explain a bit more about that as we go on. But we're gonna start with 230 grams of cold butter, which is chopped up. It's really important that it is cold straight from the fridge. That's gonna go in our mixer, and we're gonna get that beating just for about one minute, and that's just gonna gently break up our butter. We don't wanna cream it or anything. It's too hard for that anyway, we just want to break it up. So now we can add some sugar and we've got equal quantities, 160 grams of both caster sugar and light brown soft sugar. We'll pour both of those in and get the mixer going for another 30 seconds just to combine them with the butter. And you can see it's not con like combined like as if you were creaming it together. It's made little nuggets and that is absolutely perfect. Do not worry. Now we're going to go in with some chocolate and we've got 450 grams here. I'm going for a 54% chocolate because I sometimes find 70% is too intense. Um, but by all means, put whatever chocolate you like in your mix. And then back on for again another 30 seconds just to kind of mix it through. Again, not beating it, not creaming it, just combining it. And now it's time for our dry ingredients. And we're gonna start with the flour. So we have got 230 grams of self-raising flour and 200 grams of plain flour. Now this is a little bit less than we had in the kind of regular chocolate chip cookie. That's because we're gonna add some cocoa. And if we just added the cocoa on top of the full quantity of flour, it's gonna be too dry. So we've kind of removed a little bit of self-raising flour to um, replace it with 70 grams of cocoa powder. We're gonna put all of that into the mix. And then to give these cookies the lift that we want, because we want big fat cookies, we're gonna go in with one full tablespoon of baking powder, which, bit of a baking trivia for you, is the same as three teaspoons, um, a quarter teaspoon of bicarb, and a full teaspoon of salt. Now salt's really important because it pulls out flavor, um, it just enhances everything, so don't, you know, I know a lot of people don't really like putting salt in stuff, but it's really beneficial and you'll get much more flavor from your cookie. So we're gonna put that on a slow speed, and just let it sort of combine and it's gonna to go to a breadcrumb consistency and that is exactly how we want it. Okay, so now it's time to bind this all together and we're gonna do that with our wonderful eggs. I've got two large eggs, but because the cocoa powder does make this mixture a little bit drier, we're gonna add an extra egg yolk.
And I'm just mixing those up a little bit just because with this batter in general, we don't want to overbeat it. So I'm just helping the eggs by mixing them together first, put the mixer on slow, and we're just going to pour in our egg and bind it all together. And once your mixture has come together, it won't take more than a minute or two, we can start measuring out our cookies. And we're going to go for 125 gram balls, because we found that that is our preferred cookie. Maybe you like them bigger, go for it. So measure out 125 grams, gently squish them together, I'm not rolling them, and then put them onto a board and keep going. So I actually managed to get 13 rather than 12. I thought I was gonna get 12, but I've got a full baker's dozen, which I'm not entirely sure why 13 is baker's dozen. Anyway, we're gonna wrap these in cling film because we need to freeze these for 90 minutes or overnight um, because we want them to bake so they're all kind of gooey on the inside and freezing them is gonna help with that. It's gonna stop them from spreading as well. So I'm gonna pop these in for 90 minutes. Now luckily, I've already made some cookie dough because I don't want to wait 90 minutes for these to chill. And I've already got my oven set to 180 degrees C with a fan and also I've got in there a baking tray getting nice and hot because that's going to make the underneath of our cookies nice and crispy. Okay, so we need to space our cookies out enough that they're not going to stick together because they are going to spread a little bit, but I think we can probably get about nine or ten on here at once. So we've got a lot of hungry people in this kitchen today and I know they all want a cookie. So we're going to bake these for 18 minutes and the, the outside's going to be nice and crispy and the inside's going to be all squishy and gooey. My goodness, they look amazing. No. Oh, hi. What? They're too I hot. To check. I know, look at them. Mmm, mm, they're really squishy, but they are far too hot to be eating right now. Also, we need to let them cool down a bit so they kind of stick together. If you try to pick this up now, it's going to crumble. So, shoo, and 10 minutes. Burn your face. And they will burn your face. <laughs> These oh. look really good. Ooh, and they smell amazing too, don't they? Yes. And they're, um, they've cooled down a bit, but they're still soft and melty. Yeah, the, the chocolate chips should be melted still. Let's have a look inside. Oh, oh my God. This is going to be <laughs> messy business. Amy. It is. There you go. No, oh, thanks. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Is wow. that chocolatey enough for you? I mean, yeah. Mm. Mm. Good, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Well done, you. Thank you. We're also going to have these in the Soho store, along with the um, chocolate chip version that Dane and I did. So if you're in the area, please go and check it out, get cakes, get cookies, um, get coffee, <laughs> put your feet up while you're doing your sale shopping. Get everything. Yeah. Get messy. <laughs> get, get messy. Get yourself a napkin, <laughs> because this is a messy mm. business. Mm. I feel like I've probably got it all over my Yeah, but that's now. fine, that's fine. But um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll just keep you talking. <laughs> we'll be back in the new year with loads more recipes. It's been a super fun, really busy 2019 with weddings and babies and New York-ish trips. <laughs> for some. For me and <laughs> Sam, we had a great time. <laughs> and um, yeah, we'll be back in the new year. Yeah, thanks so much for watching and thank you all so much for your support with my injury and my new 
thing that's happening in here. Um, <laughs> I've got exciting things happening in, in 2020. I Yay. can't really believe it's 2020. I know. Weird. We're going to have mini cupcake Gemma upon us in no time. A little mini cupcake. I hope it likes cupcakes. Well, I hope it likes cookies because they're basically <laughs> mostly made of cookies now. So anyway, we'll see you next year. Bye, guys. Bye. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah.